and welcome to my channel. If you want to know how to make the best mashed potatoes that's going to have everybody lined up at your door, the next time you say you're making some mashed potatoes, you're going to be known as the mashed potato queen. Then stay tuned, friend. You don't want to miss this. All right, let's jump right into it. So I'm using red skin potatoes. You could use any kind you so desire. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub those potatoes and wash them because you guys, potatoes be dirty. Just like your friend, that said they only shower once a week. Who child, mind my business. Potatoes are grown from underneath the ground. So a lot of times they have all types of dirt on it. So we want to make sure we wash them thoroughly because we don't need that kind of stuff in our food. We're going to go ahead, we're going to grab our potato peeler and we're going to remove some of the skin. And I want to keep some of the skin on. This is optional. If you want to leave all the skin on, if you want to remove all the skin, baby, that's your business. Whatever you want to do, that's what you do because that's your food. All right. All right. In the midst of making this recipe, you guys, I have stopped and I went to go get my nails done, okay? Because I don't play about my nails. And when I came home, the first thing that I did is wash my hands. I really hate when people see you with long nails and you're cooking. They're like, oh my God, your nails are so long. They're dirty. No, baby, you don't know me. They ain't nothing dirty about my nails, okay? Just because you got long nails, that doesn't mean you're dirty. It doesn't mean your nails are dirty. You don't, you, yeah, so you mean to tell me I never seen people with short nails, really short nails, and you could see all the dirt and all the rust underneath their nails don't play with me okay because i always wash my hands okay and i always have a little brush that i actually scrub my nails with every single day in every area of my house okay all right the only reason why i ain't scrub it this time is because i just washed them at the nail salon so i just washed them again because you know i don't touch a couple of doors before i came back home to cook so don't come for me about being dirty because one thing for sure two things for dirty two things for, for certain I'm a lot of things, but dirty ain't one of them, baby. I keep a broom in my hand. I play with your mama, not me. So next, we're going to go ahead. We're going to cut up our potatoes. You could leave them whole if you want to. You could cut them smaller than this if you want to. It's your business. But the um, bigger they are, the longer they're going to take to cook, okay? So you kind of want to chop them up if you ask me, just so it could cook faster because when you're trying to get dinner ready and put it on the stove for your kids you ain't got all day to be in the kitchen baby so go ahead and just just chop them up okay and here they are and i'm giving them another wash because um they're they're, they're little i feel like they're still a little bit dirty and then um the texture inside the potato i guess it always makes it have this little brown water like you just saw that came out okay so i always like to give them um, another wash until my water runs clear and then i feel like that's when the potatoes are ready to be cooked okay if you don't want to do that baby and you know what it don't bother you that's your business all right all right so after i'm done washing my potatoes and my water run clear i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take those potatoes and i'm gonna put them into a pot okay i'm gonna put them into a pot right here my new pot my big blue bertha that's her name blue bertha she big and blue big blue bertha then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add seven cups of water okay then i'm gonna add one tablespoon of salt because we need that we need them potatoes to have some flavor okay we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put that to boil and while that's boiling we're gonna go ahead we're gonna um mince some garlic cloves as you can see i minced three garlic cloves we're gonna need that later on and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set that to the side next we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab some parsley okay and when we grab the parsley we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the parsley from the um stem because we only need the um the leaves we don't need the stem and we're gonna dispose of the stem then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mince those as well we're gonna cut them up slice them up dice them up and we're gonna put that on the side all right and at this time your potato should be cooking for about um, 15 to 20 minutes more or less depending on how you cut your potatoes and the way that you're going to know if your potatoes are done and they're ready is you're going to use a fork and you're going to stab them and if you're able to get right through them then you're good to go if you're able to get right through them then your potatoes is cooked and you are good to go you can go ahead and you can um, rinse off your potatoes you could well drain them okay if they are still hard then let them boil a little longer okay so here my potatoes are. I strained them. Then I went ahead and I washed that same pot and put it back on the stove. At this time, I turned my heat off for the moment, okay? And I'm just mashing the potatoes. I'm going to mash them up until 
my liking. Some people like big chunks of potatoes in their mashed potatoes. So if that's what you like, then you leave the big chunks. And if you don't like that, then you mash them real good until there's no more clumps and lumps. Okay. Then we're going to leave that. And on a, another stove, we're going to grab my other pot, Eddie. And well, this is Ed with two D's. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to add some butter on there. And then we're going to go ahead um, and let the butter dissolve. Once the butter is done dissolving, we're going to go ahead. We're going to add some garlic, the garlic that we chopped up earlier. We're going to go ahead. We're going to add some of that in there. Okay. And you're going to go ahead. You're going to mix that all in there. You're going to let the butter melt and you're going to go ahead and you're going to let the garlic cook. If you like the taste of like raw garlic, then you don't even have to do this part for it. Just go ahead and put all that in the, in the pot with the potatoes. But I like my garlic to be a little bit cooked. I feel like it's better to me this way. So that's why I'm doing it this way. But uh, baby, when is you doing yours, you do whatever you want to and can't nobody tell you nothing different. All right. All right. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put that into the stove. OK. And when I was um using the heat to melt the butter, I had it on like a low heat four or five. You don't want to have it too high because you don't want to burn the butter. OK. All right. Then we're going to go ahead. And we're going to mix that all around. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add some heavy whipping cream and I'm adding one cup of heavy whipping cream. OK. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to mix that all together. When adding liquid to your potatoes, it's better to add a little bit at a time because you can always add more, but you can never subtract. And the last thing you want is to serve somebody some mashed potatoes and they say, oh, child, these mashed potatoes or these soup potatoes? Because, baby, this soup, this soup because they so they so watery. You don't want that business. You don't want them to talk about you, friend. I'm trying to tell you. You can always add. But you can never subtract when it comes to cooking. Remember that. And this right here is my secret ingredient, you guys. Philadelphia chives and onion cream cheese. And let me show y'all my nails. I have forgot to show y'all. <laughs> yes. And this, you put that in there, baby. Baby, you put that in there. And baby, dumb mashed potatoes going to be God's gift to earth, friend. I'm trying to tell you. Go ahead and put that in there. It's going to give it so much flavor. It's going to make it taste so good, friend. I'm trying to tell you, friend. If you ain't been using this in your mashed potatoes, you sleep on life. Go ahead and wake up, friend, because you sleep on life. Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to add a little bit of a salt and we're going to mix that in there. And you guys do not worry. You already know I got the exact measurements and recipe for you in the description box below. Have no fear. Your girl Freddie is here. All right. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to mix that until it's dissolved. Okay. Until it's dissolved in there. And I did turn my heat back on. I have it at low, like a three. OK, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one fourth cup of mozzarella cheese and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some parsley. I'm adding the parsley for a garnish. I like a little cheese in my mashed potatoes and I want to add the mozzarella cheese. If you don't want to add it, friend, don't add it. But I do. T I'm, I will tell you if you add it, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. OK, and baby, just like that. Your mashed potatoes is ready to be served, okay? Just like that, friend. Put them things into a bowl. Look how creamy them things. Ooh, let's give this mashed potatoes a moment of silence for the beauty that it holds. Yes, friend. Yes, I'm trying to tell you. These mashed potatoes right here are so good. They will have you licking all your fingers. Who chat? They will have you licking the spoon chat. I'm trying to tell you, baby. Don't play with these mashed potatoes, y'all. Who? Ucha, thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to comment. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye. Until next time.